starting with you, Steve. Yeah. Um, let me see. I was going to ask. Oh, oh, got a best story memory from the show? Wow, God, man, there's so many. I can't even think, man. Um, well, uh, I'll tell you one that was really cool was when uh, Gene Simmons came to the set. He brought his kids to the set to meet us. Whoa, cool. Gene Simmons. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty cool. And there was a lot of famous people, too. Like, when we had the premiere for the movie, uh -huh. um, there was tons of famous people that were there. Um, so I got to meet all kinds of really cool, famous people like that were coming to see us. So I thought that was pretty special. Sweet. Um, you know, uh, Mike, Mike Madsen from Reservoir Dogs, which was a huge movie back at the time. He was there for his kid. Um, Harold Ramis was there. Jean-Claude Van Damme brought his kids. Um, oh, my God. Mike Myers was there. This is before Austin Powers came out, before Austin Powers got big. And I was like, Mike Myers is here? What's he doing here? But at the same time, the producers that were producing our show were also getting ready to do to film his movie. So he came to our show, uh, our premiere. Um, and who else was there? Tons. I mean, I just met tons of famous people. So that's probably like the best story is all the famous people that I got to meet that actually came to see me because of their kids. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. So Austin, great. yourself, uh, best memory? Tom Brokaw did a news report on this story that day because the 101 freeway was shut down, backed up for eight, seven, eight miles. What was going on? Riots broke out. There was looting at Universal Studios. Well, what were you guys doing at Universal? We were doing an appearance. There was. This is when the show first came out. This was before I was on it. When they were they the were first year, maybe maybe it was into the second year. I don't remember exactly. But the show was enormous. It had blown up all around the world. And um, we had finally. Hein, the owner, agreed to let us do our first public appearance, and uh, we were going to do it at Universal what, Boardwalk, what is that, or, where the AMC is? I don't even remember it. Yeah, I don't know, I think it's somewhere at Universal Studios. Uh, Burbank, Burbank, the AMC, Universal, whatever it is, Right. where they got all kinds of cool stuff. And, um, <laughs> So many people came. The thing is, like, I remember this too. People and were I was camping out four days in advance. People like they they, they blocked ridiculous. the freeways like for like for like eight hours. People couldn't even get on the freeways forever because of this thing. And that's what started the big phenomenon about the show. That's what made it like nationwide. And plus the fact that people were lining up around the corners to get the toys and stuff. And we, we were set up. We were set up. I we were supposed to do five shows. And within the amphitheater, they were supposed to be able to fit ten thousand people per show. And um, they had well over 100,000 people show up. We were supposed to do five shows. There's a problem. And they had stages or a little, you know, selling stations set up with all sorts of Power Ranger paraphernalia and whatnot. And, uh, you know, the shows went off enormous. Stunts all over the stage. The crowd went nuts. Were you doing your own stunts there? I always did my own stunts. Always. Were you guy in the suit? Uh, American footage suit? Well, they, the they, suits were a little crazy they, because they, they had. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's fine. They had the Japanese actors originally. Yeah. And they bought the footage from Japan. Yeah. When they ran out of that footage, then they started sticking us in the suits a lot more. But anytime I had the opportunity, I did choreographed and set all my own stunts. Nice. And in the very beginning, yeah, that too, right? I choreographed a lot of the stunts for a lot of the original guys because they didn't have a martial arts experience. Huh. But uh, that that show at the amphitheater was ridiculous. Because when the other 40, 50,000 people found out they weren't going to make it in, they rushed the gates, broke down the theater, ran over and trampled the stations where they were selling, you know, Power Rangers materials, ran over the station, shut it all down, and uh, cops were sh cops showed up. It was ridiculous. They had to run us out the back doors and limos and out oh. around back entrances. Awesome. It was ridiculous. I got a question about you guys' movie, uh, Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, which is horrible name. I'm sorry. That was, uh, it was kind of awkward. But uh, what happened? Why did you leave the show? And how did you get called in to do the movie? Um, I Wait. think it was part, partially to do with the fact that I had a, my school, my, I had a karate school at the same time that I was doing the show. And, um, you know, that was going pretty good. And, um, it's like a lot of work. A few, just a few disagreements that we had led me to just say, you know what, I didn't want to do it anymore. So um, at that point, um, I think that's when they got Austin back. They were like, look, you know, this guy's leaving, so come in and, you know, and, and, you know, lend your name to it. And so it would help.
wanted to help keep them moving because they knew they were going to play the replacement with some little kids. So um, they got him back in there to sort of like, you know, have a backbone. The infamous and, Justin. For the movie. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's why they brought him in as part of, part of the reason they brought him back for that. And what was it like getting called back? Like, where were you at the time? I didn't, I didn't know much of anything about that. I was traveling the world at the time. I was doing a lot of other stuff. And uh, for a change, I was making some money because it wasn't on the show. <laughs> and uh, that's always a good thing. And they called me up, and at the time, I was overseas. Uh, uh, and they said, listen, you know, we'd love to have you come back and do this movie. And I said, well, thanks, but no thanks. Like I said, the first movie, which is why I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they asked you to be in the first movie? We were all slated to be in the first movie. Dude, when heartbreak. When we walked off the show, that's when the door opened up. But um, I didn't want to do it. You know, I was happy doing other things. I was making better money. Money I could help pay for mom mm -hmm. and other things with, which is where I needed to be. And uh, 